with the show, we, we don't just talk about what these things are that you might be able to do to hack the planet or whether it's possible. We really do also get into the question of, of whether you should, whether yeah. it's even a good idea and to why, do these things. why are we doing Right. When you look at all of this devastation, you have to wonder, does it have to be this way? What if the next time a hurricane moves over our shores, we could flip a switch and turn it off? It's only going to get harder, not easier, with the changing climate because right. Predictive systems are usually based on previous models, right? right? So we're yeah. looking at the past to learn about the future, and the future is rapidly changing from the past. That's now. right. That yeah. makes it really difficult. We bring it back a lot in the show. We bring it back to this idea of unintended consequences and kind of what are some of the side effects of some of these hacks that maybe are unforeseen that could be potentially dangerous. But the truth of the matter is, when it comes to global climate change and when it comes to a lot of the kind of dangers that are waiting in the wings right now, I think that it's sort of a scientific imperative to hack the planet, or at least to attempt to. There's one other hurricane hacking theory that could save America's coastal cities from disaster, and it would rely on a raw ingredient the world has plenty of, ocean spray. You know, the, the, the use of the word hacking in the show, I think, is actually is, is, is sort of an interesting thing. I think a lot of people, they hear the title hacking the planet, and they do have a sense of, well, that, that doesn't sound like it's a very good idea. Yeah. Uh, even legitimate? What is this? <laughs> but we're really using hacking in, in a broader sense in which it really does come down to it's taking what we know about understanding how things work and then getting inside the yes. system and then being able yeah. to use that, in some cases, maybe to manipulate it, but in some cases, it is just to be able to prepare for it better, you will be in the best situation possible for being able to survive it. When it comes to hacking hurricanes, for now at least, most scientists are skeptics.